This is a 2009 Toyota RAV4. It's got a check engine light on. This is how I use the Nova scanner to diagnose the problem. As you can see, the malfunction indicator light is illuminated. I use my Innova 5610 scanner. It's a bad directional scan tool to pull the codes and the code that I have is P0420 for catalyst, of catalyst system efficiency below threshold. This pertains to catalytic converter. So I press the LD button for live data. So that takes me to live data on my scanner in order to take a look at the data. So I need to zoom in a few sensors. So this engine is a four cylinder engine. It only has one bank. So a V6 would have two banks, bank one and bank two. So this one is a four cylinder. It's not a boxer engine. So it's an inline four. Therefore it's got one bank. So I don't have to worry about bank two. So I need to take a look at oxygen sensor one bank one oxygen sensor oxygen sensor two bank one so sensor one and sensor two one is placed in front of the catalytic converter and the other is placed um, after the catalytic converter so we got a pre-cat and we have a post-cat oxygen sensor let's take a look at these and um, I will make a determination to see if I have a bad catalytic converter or a bad oxygen sensor Okay, right here I have bank one sensor one and bank one sensor two. Okay, now the thing that I can notice right now is that bank one sensor one is an air fuel ratio sensor. An air fuel ratio sensor is an oxygen sensor, but it works differently. And bank one sensor two is a regular oxygen sensor. So a, reg a regular oxygen sensor can see rich lean, rich lean, rich lean. An air fuel ratio sensor not only can it see rich lean, um, but it, it, it can tell you how lean the air fuel ratio is or how rich the air fuel ratio is. So it's got a wider range and it's more accurate than a regular oxygen sensor. So we're going to talk about this. We're going to explore these sensors and we're going to zero into these in order to determine what the problem is. Okay, now I press custom live data to select uh, the live data I want to see. I want, of course, fuel system and closed loop or open loop. In my case, I want it in closed loop. Then I'm going to be looking for the sensors. I hit done when I finish creating the custom live data with the sensors that I need. Of course, back one sensor one is an air fuel ratio sensor and back one sensor two is an oxygen sensor, a regular oxygen sensor. How I know it's a regular oxygen sensor is because regular oxygen sensors operate between zero and one volt. And that's how I know. And when you have the air fuel ratio sensors, they sit at around 3.3 volt. So when they go above 3.3 volt, this means that the air fuel ratio is lean. And when they go below 3.3 volt, the air fuel ratio is rich. And lambda should indicate stoichiometric air fuel ratio. This means 14.7 to 1. That's where the air fuel ratio, the ideal ref air fuel ratio should be. And lambda should be sitting around 1. When it's above 1, that's rich. When it's below 1, that's lean. But in this case, when we see the vehicles idling, it's about, it's about 0 0.98 something. That's close enough to 1 and that should indicate stoichiometric. The job of the catalytic converter is to just transform those harmful gases for when and it prevent them from going into the atmosphere. And that for this diagnostic, I'm more interested in the, the bank one sensor too, the regular oxygen sensor, and there shouldn't be much activity from this sensor when the catalytic converter is doing its job. It should be sitting around 0 0.5, 0 0.6 volt. It shouldn't be bouncing around from zero and then close to one volt. When it's doing that, this means that it's seeing a lot of rich and lean condition. It shouldn't be operating like this. That tells me that the catalytic converter is not doing a, an accurate job of of turning um, the harmful, uh, harmful gases into H2O and CO2. Try to create rich conditions by accelerating. I sometimes I, I hold the throttle at around 2,000 2,000 RPM or 2,500 RPM, but sometimes I just give it a, a quick throttle and release just to create a quick um, 
rich condition to see how the oxygen sensors are going to react and of course I see way too much activity from sensor 2. And this is how I determined that I had a bad catalytic converter not doing its job using the Innova 5610 monitoring the data with it. So this is very useful. This is um, this is a great um, scanner. I've been using it for a while now. Um, I like its functionality and I also like its bad directional functions.